Okay. Here's some <laughs> bubble-bursting news for bubble tea fans everywhere. A recent study by Mount Alvernia Hospital here in Singapore has found that the latest flavors, such as a single cup of brown uh, sugar milk tea with pearls, could contain the same number of calories as one and a half bowls of rice. Add trendy milk foam toppings, and that only ups the calorie count. Cheryl Goh finds out what exactly these treats are made of and whether they are less sinful alternatives. Be it an after-lunch pick-me-up or a post-dinner treat, people in Singapore just can't seem to get enough of their bubble tea. And with new flavors and toppings which keep popping up, it's no wonder they keep going back for more. But some of the latest trendy offerings, such as foam toppings and brown sugar, can pack the same number of calories as a full meal. This is the brown sugar milk tea. The, the, the sugar has kind of dissolved into the drink already. But it's basically just brown sugar, milk and pearls. Mm -hmm. So uh, how many calories is in this drink? The, for the brown sugar milk tea, it's estimated to be about 500 calories per cup for a 500 yeah. ml cup. Which is about one and a half bowls. If we're looking at the amount of sugar in it because it can't actually be modified, roughly about one and a half bowls of white rice. And while the tea itself, black, green or oolong, may be healthy, it's the additions such as pearls and pudding that turn the drinks into calorie-heavy indulgence. Of all the toppings, dietitians say foam, be it milk, cheese or even strawberry, contains the highest amount of calories. In fact, the foam alone, not including the rest of the drink, could easily have up to 200 calories. And that's equivalent to half a bowl of rice. But your bubble tea doesn't have to be so sinful. One local shop says it uses a seaweed alternative to the usual tapioca pearls, which dietitians say are similar to konyaku jelly and are very low in calories, as long as they aren't soaked in sugar. We cater to individual needs here. So for our start, we, at least those who are very health conscious, we have a starting base, is healthier version there. So we could only recommend or rather encourage you to drink lesser sugar by preparing a stronger flavorful tea with uh, no ice dilution. But as with all sweet treats, moderation remains key. What we want to present to the public is that it can be unhealthy and can be considered a dessert rather than a, just a sweet drink. Roughly about one cup a week is recommended. If let's say that's your only um, guilty pleasure coming from food, then about two cups a week is still acceptable. So the next time you have a craving for a cup of bubble tea, you might want to think twice about those extra toppings.